<laughs> Welcome to the 2019 MTV Movie and TV Awards. Yes, yes, it's that big. It's the biggest, really, right? I'm gonna be your host for the next two hours for the younger viewers out there. Uh, two hours is about 500 TikToks, if you wanna do that. <laughs> you need an abacus. Anyway, oh my goodness gracious. I haven't seen this many nervous, hot people since Fire Festival. This is amazing. <laughs> Enjoy the water on your tables. I worked very hard for that. I want tonight to be fun and positive, genuinely. I, I, a celebration of everything that we love about movies and television. But what's really great about this show is that we have categories that like nobody else has, right? Uh, uh, like Best Kiss, we have that. We have uh, uh, Reality Royalty Breakthrough Performance. Yeah, yeah, there you go. By the way, I don't understand Breakthrough Performance. How can we have a category called Breakthrough Performance and not nominate Jason Momoa's nipples? They're just... I mean, I They could jumpstart a car. Or a small RV, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this is a huge year in television, obviously. Uh, you know, audiences were once again captivated by an epic saga featuring a cast of fierce warriors all vying for the favor of a powerful queen. I mean, RuPaul's Drag Race has never been better, guys. It has never been better. Uh, there are so many amazing people here tonight, obviously. We've been pointing out many of you. This, I don't know who did the seating chart here, because we have this, this power quintet, essentially. We have Bullock and Lizzo and Moss and McCarthy and Haddish over here. By the way, Sandra, you are here because you're nominated for Bird Box. Congratulations. Bird Box was quite literally the can't see film of the year. It was, <laughs> didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> I blindsided, I'll stop right there, that's fine. <laughs> and of course, America's other sweetheart, Ray J from Love and Hip Hop is here. <laughs> Although I'm sure some of you are more familiar with his work as a cameraman. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry, it was collectively a great idea. Uh, the Rock is also here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The Rock. And front row center, front row center, which is very fitting because you are receiving the Generation Awards tonight, sir. Congratulations. Absolutely. Uh, this is all super fun, particularly for you guys watching at home. This is all super fun. And, and a lot of you out, out there, you might think that the, the, only the coolest of the cool people get invited here, and a lot of you would be wrong because that's, that's me right there. That's 14-year-old me. That was Harvey Johnson in Bye Bye Birdie. Boy in a high school, go Bulldogs. I was the spazziest drama nerd that ever was, and guess what? I still am, y'all. Everyone in this room kind of is because behind all the fame and fortune and followers and glam squads are a bunch of nerdy artists and entertainers, and they're the ones making all the cool shit that we're celebrating tonight. And... And if you don't believe me, am I right, Dwayne the Fanny Pack Johnson? <laughs> am I right? Am I right? Am I right, Kumail? Kumail the Brow Chicka Brow Wow Nanjiani. And am I right, Dave the Animal Bautista? Look at that guy. By the way, how is that even the same person? Did you eat him to become you? What did you? Of course, by the way, of course I'm right because it's all true, guys. This is all true. Everything I've said is true. Because deep down, we all still have that kid in us and there's no reason why that kid can't be a superhero or a Lizzo. Pardon me for being redundant. So if you're like 14 year old me and you're sitting at home watching this thinking that maybe you'll love yourself one day, if you can finally be somewhere here, stop doing that and start loving yourself right there, right now. It'll change your life and that'll change the world and I guarantee that. Love you.